In today's Gospel reading on Tuesday of the octave of Easter, we see the continuation in John's chapter 20 of the events following what was accounted to us on Easter Sunday morning, where Mary Magdalene goes out early in the morning to the tomb and finds that the stone had been rolled back and that it was empty. So she ran to tell the apostles. Of course, Peter and John run to the tomb and see it as she had described, and they look inside and see that the burial cloths are there, but Jesus is not. Later, in chapter 20, verses 11 to 18, we hear of this account of Mary seeing the risen Lord. She doesn't recognize him at first, thinking that he is a gardener. She says to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. I've always found this account to be touching in the sense that it probably would have been very difficult for Mary Magdalene on her own to move Jesus' body. But her love for him and her care for him was so great that she was willing. Jesus calls her by name. And when she hears the Lord say her name, Mary, she recognizes him. And he says to her, Do not cling to me, for I have yet to return to my Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. The reality of being called by name, by God, that relationship that is ours. In baptism, we are named as beloved children of the Father, brothers and sisters of Jesus. In confirmation, we choose a name after a patron, a saint who has inspired us. Let us pray in this octave of Easter that we will see in the joys and sufferings, the challenges and achievements of life, the voice of Christ calling to us to claim us as his own. Let us pray today that we will be generous with all we have been given to follow Christ, to go before him, announcing to others that he is alive and that he desires for our good. Blessings on your day.